Is it working? Yeah, it seems to be. Right, so I've got the um, 168 BPM drums uh, sounding good with the original 84 BPM track that I'd made. Uh, so what I'd really like to do is get that track to be a 168 BPM track so that it fits with the drums perfectly and then I'll be able to use the drum machine to like change the drums if I need to and I'll be able to um, use the Time Master feature properly which last time we disabled this time we're going to make a track where we can enable it uh, because it is useful to use, it's, it's a great feature uh, it's nice to know how to control it uh, so here we go, we're going to have a go at mixing down the 84 BPM track into a 168 BPM uh, so here we go what I'm going to do is open the original and you can see there is a track there where I have done it before so I know this works right so open the original and all we want to do is save a copy oh you can hear an echo possibly because the speakers are on and now this is on too right, let's sort that out right that should be better Okay, so we're going to save a copy. Now, what we're going to do is open a new window of our door. Open the original again. And now, we've got two copies of it and the same thing happening again it's going to be important to figure out which one's which right so it looks like the one that's still connected is the one uh that is the demo so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the MIDI tracks from the 84 BPM version into the 168 BPM version. Um, this, I'm going to neaten everything up a little bit first so that uh, we can see what's going on. It's a little bit of a jumble. Right then, so we've got this one armed to record. And this one's ready to play. Make sure the Time Masters aren't set. Yeah, it's all fine in that one. It shouldn't do because it's made from the same file. Yeah, look, it's saved 
from the last version of it. Right, so the only thing then to do is change this to one. Put my keyboard in a sensible position so I can type one six eight. Okay, so that should now. there it is, it's recording in. Now let me connect this up so you can hear it. Music 3. There we go, we got our MIDI mix down. So this is going to be way more useful for like um, editing the MIDI going forward because it's not in loads of little chunks, it's just long strips of recording or long strips of data that I can line up to the grid and then uh, use the Time Master functions to use other Jack software in tandem with Ardor to just make everything a little bit better which is I'll probably be using this version going forward actually because uh, the other version I made was still all in little chunks uh, I think this is a lot neater so this is the one I'll be going forward with well uh, take care